Alrighty guys, in today's video, I'm going to give this male convict cichlid a female, introduce them, get them back to breeding. This guy has actually provided about 10 loads of babies with his uh, previous partner before he uh, offed her. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give him a female, see how it goes this time, and stay tuned. We're going to do some feeding in this video, as well as talk about future plans with the breeding. Uh, so this is our lucky girl here. She's going to be going with the male. Let's move her over and get her ready to be acclimated. Basically, I just have the net propped up here in the side of the tank. I'm going to be letting her get used to the water temperature here. It is actually the same, but I just want to make sure that everything falls into place properly before I just dump her in there. Um, I definitely want to give her a chance to sort of fill in for things as well as the male. I want him to be used to seeing her. So we're probably going to do about two hours up here. She is fine. She is safe. She's got plenty of water there. Two hours like that, she'll be perfectly fine. I'll check up periodically to see how they are interacting or if they've even started interacting together. And so, of course, it is time to feed our other male here. He loves these pellets. These are Hikari floating cichlid pellets. It's the uh, baby size. I find that the fish being able to actually eat and digest the stuff quickly helps versus giving them bigger pellets and sucking them. This just works out easier all around and he loves the stuff. He just doesn't love me filming above when he's trying to eat, so I'm gonna give him some peace. And this girl right here, she is actually from the original first load that that breeding pair I was talking about earlier pushed out and she is looking great. She's just up there eating right now. That's why she's kind of chilling at the top. I'm making her nervous filming at this angle. But yeah, all the fish are doing great. Follow the King of Aquariums on all social media. We are on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and yes, even Tumblr. What are you waiting for? Hit up the social. Ready, so it's been about 15 minutes. I haven't noticed any interaction yet between these two she's actually handling it very well she's calmed down really quickly um so hopefully this is going to work out to go exactly how i want it they're kind of giving each other looks from where they're at but no interaction yet no aggression so that is definitely really really good Alrighty. so while we are waiting for the breeding pair to get used to each other or whatever we're gonna feed some goldfish and talk about the journey we are on currently to 10,000 subscribers if you've made it this far in the video just go ahead and subscribe pause the video like comment subscribe really helps the channel and I'm so ready to get to that 10k mark it's been an absolute journey and I wanted to thank each and every single one of you for being a part of that journey got merch check below the video and in the description if you would like to support financially and rock your favorite king of aquariums attire, click below. Can't forget the water garden here. That's a lot of food, holy cow. It'll be okay though, the uh, plants love the organic matter that comes from it. As you can tell, the uh, water garden's doing great, so yeah. Pause this video. Just kidding, don't pause it. It is sponsored by Swift Energy, the best energy drink on the planet, best supplement, everything. Check the link in the description. Use code AUSTIN, A-U-S-T-I-N, all caps, 25% off your entire purchase. Thank you for the support. A little side note here, guys. Um, putting in Corydora's catfish with growing convict cichlids is an awful idea as the uh, corridors will quickly become food for these guys. So, thought they'd get along well, they did for a while, but just didn't work out that way. Alrighty, so future plans. Well, my plan is I want to be centered around convict cichlids and breeding them. Of course, I'm still gonna have all of these guys. I'm gonna continue with the uh, Grumpy and Boona and the OB Peacock cichlid series. 
Um, so we're still gonna continue all of the uh, regular stuff I do, but I really wanna have this uh, major shift towards convict cichlid breeding. Um, I will be taking babies and moving them out as they are bred into grow out tanks and we'll see how it goes from there. It's about 30 minutes now and they've both settled kind of well. I walked back into my room and spooked the male. That's why he's hiding back there acting all weird. She's just chilling so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and release her. Um, Cause she's actually doing a lot better than I thought. She's officially in there with the male. I don't think that he has spotted her yet. I'm sure they will uh, own up to each other pretty well. Let's we'll see how this goes. She's just chilling because she is spooked. I just moved her again. But I will be giving her some time and privacy to calm down. you watched all the way to the end and you aren't subscribed or a channel member and you still want to see some excellent fishy content be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a channel member to help support financially thank you stay fishy